Hello friends, my name is Shayla and today I am here to do an unhaul for you. Recently, Sam from Thoughts on Tones has done a couple, have done a couple unhaul related videos and I just kept looking at my shelves and feeling frustrated with some of the things that are on my shelves, particularly on my TBR shelf. So I wanted to go through and kind of declutter, make the shelves the way that I wanted them to, so I make sure I'm reading things that genuinely make me happy and that I'm genuinely interested in. So today I have 26 books that I am unhauling with you guys today. I know it's a lot and when I first got my channel I kind of went like book buying binge crazy and that's how we ended up here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right in here. So this first book that I'm unhauling is Quintina by Megan Riley. This is book two in a series. I liked book one fine and I've decided to keep it on my shelf because it was one of the first review books I ever got, but I have no desire to continue on with the series. This has been sitting on my shelf for a year and a half, so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and send this on to my local library and let somebody else get exposure to the series and enjoy it that way. Next up is Behind Broken Glass Walls by N.M. Arunas, is that is what I want to say. I don't remember what this book is about totally and completely honest and I know that I got this um, I was a rep for a subscription box for a little while that was based more on indie books and this was one of the books that I received through them and clearly it's been on my shelf for about a year I have no desire to read it I like I say I don't even remember what it's about at this point so I'm gonna send it on and let somebody else enjoy it next up is what comes from eating donuts with a boy who plays guitar by Nicole Campbell this is just a cute little contemporary, and I just keep not picking it up. It's cute. I tried starting it, as you can see here. I'm going to pull that out now. I've tried starting it. Um, I just, I wasn't enjoying it, and I don't think I'm going to pick it back up because I really, really wasn't enjoying it. So again, I know there's somebody out there who's going to love this. Next up is one I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for, but it's going anyway, and that is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. So I got this on Book Outlet when it was on sale, and I wanted to start this series, but I keep not starting it. Mysteries aren't really my jam. I don't read a lot of them. So I've decided that... If I am going to come back to this one, I'd probably just check it out from the library because I don't even know if I'd want to continue on with the series. So again, this will go to my library and there may come a day where I check out this exact copy from my library. But for now, that's where my books are going to go. Next up is Not Dead Yet by Phil Collins. This is a memoir by Phil Collins. A lot of people forget who he is and what he's about. He's an excellent musician. I was interested in this because I like Phil Collins as a person, but I keep not picking it up again. And as much as I like Phil Collins and his music, I don't know if I want to learn more about his personal life. I'm afraid it might affect how I feel about him as an artist. I don't necessarily want that to happen because I care a lot about the music that Phil Collins creates. So I've decided that I'm no longer going to read this one. I have a brother who's mad about Phil Collins, so I will probably pass it on to him. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to give this one a pass. Next up is Shadowfall by Audrey Gray. Again, this is one that I don't really remember the synopsis of. It was from that same subscription service, and I just kept not getting around to it. I got it about a year ago, and again, keep not getting around to it. So no offense to the subscription box. Everything I got from them was great, and everything I've read from those subscription boxes were great. It's just I keep not picking it up, and so many new books keep coming out that it's hard for me to keep this on a backlog when I keep not even trying to pick it up. Now we have The Cogsmith's Daughter by Kate M. Colby. Again, same subscription box, same kind of scenario. All I remember is that it was steampunk and I was really excited about it, but I keep not picking it up. So here we are. Next up is Ferris by Gail Carson Levine. Um, this is the author of Ella Enchanted. This was a fairy tale retelling of hers I wanted to try out. I keep not picking it up. I picked it up for like a dollar on Book Outlet, so it's just going to go to the library. Next up is Hamlet's Blackberry, a practical philosophy for building a good life in the digital age. Clearly this book is very dated if we're talking about blackberries. I found this at a dollar bookstore around here. I kept thinking, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up. 
It's been two years. I haven't picked it up. It's time to send it on its merry, merry way. Next up, this one's a little bit sad for me to unhaul, but at the same time, I know I'm not going to enjoy it. So I've decided to unhaul it. And that is Sisters of Heart and Snow by Margaret Dilloway. When I picked this book up, I thought it was something completely different than what it actually is. And what it actually is, is it's cichlid. You know, there's sick family members and... I'm not really into the cichlid thing at this point in my life. It hits too close to home on so many levels. So I'm going to give this one away, you know, to my library again. And I just... I know somebody out there is going to need it and love it and they're going to seriously enjoy this. But for me right now in my life, this is not the kind of book I want to be reading. Next up is Ash and Bramble by Sarah Prinius. And this was a obviously Cinderella retelling. I went fairy tale retelling crazy for a minute. And I know there's multiple retellings in this series and again... I just keep not picking it up. It's been on my shelf over a year. At that point, if it's a fairy tale retelling that's been on my shelf for over a year, I'm not going to get to it. Now we have Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. And again, I think I originally bought this one because of the cover on it was on Book Outlet for cheap. So I don't even remember what it's about other than dreams, obviously, from the covers. So now we have After You by Jojo Moyes. And I read before. Me Before You. I enjoyed it for what it was. I know it's a very problematic book, but I still found enjoyment in it in parts of the story. And I've decided that I don't necessarily want to change how I feel about the story as it is. So I'm going to send After You on to the library and hope that somebody else will get some enjoyment out of it. Next is The A to Z of You and Me by James Hanna. Again, I think this is kind of like cichlid related if I remember right. I don't even quite remember. Again, don't really remember the synopsis. Been on my shelf over a year. I'm probably not getting to it. Let's just move on. I kind of went flower happy <laughs> for a minute at the bookstore. And I've picked up two that I keep not getting around to. And I'm just going to send them on. The first is The Language of Flowers by Vanessa, Vanessa Diffenbaugh. And then the second one is The Art of Arranging Flowers by Lynn Brannard. Again, I don't know why I became flower obsessed with titles for a minute, but again, I don't remember what either of these books are truly genuinely about, and so I don't really have any interest in them anymore, and we're moving on. Next up is How to Be a Heroine, or What I've Learned from Reading Too Much by Samantha Ellis. I originally thought this book was going to be very satirical, very witty. This is a book that takes itself too seriously, and that kind of turned me off to it. I'm sure there is somebody out there who's going to find a lot of enjoyment in this book. And so I'm going to, you know, as I keep saying at the end of each of these, I'm just going to send it on and let somebody else enjoy it. Next up is Weekend in Paris by Robin Sisman. And I did not pay that Walmart price. This is one that I got at that little dollar bookstore again. If I remember right, there's cheating involved in this book. And that's not something I'm really about in that life. So I've decided to just send this book on to somebody who might find some enjoyment in it. This is another one that I'll probably get a little bit of flack for, and that is The Book of Spirit and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. This is a companion series to the Falling Kingdom series, but I have decided I am not going to read the companion series. I enjoy the Falling Kingdom series, and I do plan on finishing that one, but I have no desire in this secondary story in the world right now. Again, I may end up checking this out from the library later, but as of right now, I have no desire to read it. Next up is Forestborn by Shannon Hay. This is like book four in a series. I still have book one on my shelf, but right now I'm just going to send this back to the library because clearly it's a library copy and let it be read by somebody who can enjoy it. Next up is the first book in the Michael Vay, The Prisoner of Cell 25 series by Richard Paul Evans. I've heard lots of good things about this series, but I've had this on my shelf for like five years, guys, and I keep not reading it, so it's time to just send it on. Next up is The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. I, again, I picked this up from Book Outlet, and I don't think I'm going to really continue on with it. So, okay guys, four more books. Four more books, we can do this. The next is The Dark Hills Divide by Patrick Carmen. This is the first book in the Land of Elyon series. This was a middle grade novel that I picked up at that little dollar bookstore. And I keep not picking it up, and I don't even remember what it's about now, so 
The Angel of Losses by Stephanie Feldman. All I remember is that it's about angels and death, and it, my desire to read it has kind of waned, and I don't really have a desire for that anymore, so meh. Okay, these last two, there are some people who might give me flack for them, but they're going, so by the time you guys see this, these will probably be gone anyway, because I'm probably taking them to the library tomorrow as I return some books, so anyways. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. I have tried to pick this up several times, and I keep not making it past chapter one, so. And last but not least is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porta. Again, this is one I have tried to pick up several times, and I keep not enjoying it, so I've decided that it's time to send it on. So guys, those are the 26 books from my TBR shelf that are going away. I might end up doing another unhaul in the next little while, of things that I've read on my shelf, but I figured I'd start with my TBR shelf. I cleared off an entire shelf on my bookshelf from these books, so I am very pleased with that progress. And I, you know, I was at the point where I needed to buy another bookshelf, and I'm like, maybe I should do an unhaul first and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything about these books that I should give a second thought to, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!